Hey everybody, my name is Tyler Watson, your Las Vegas and Henderson Realtor. This is Tour Time with Tyler and welcome to Cabaret. Let's check out this one. But again, before we do, right there is the link for my resale app. Up above is the link for my new construction website. You could go to either one of those links or you could scan the QR codes with your mobile phone and it will take you straight to them. Completely free to use. Let's check out this one. So. We are over in Henderson today. This is in Cadence actually. But before we start talking about this home, if you're thinking about buying new, you want to buy new, you're considering buying a new home, call me right away. Call me before you call the builder, before you email them, before you go take a look at the models in person. I need to go with you the first time and I need to call on your behalf because otherwise you're gonna work directly with the sales associate and they actually don't represent you. They represent the builders. So if you want representation, give me a call. And fun fact, as the buyer, you don't pay the realtor commission. The builder does, so give me a call. I'm gonna spin around really quickly just to show you where we are. We are in Cadence today, which is in Henderson. It is a master plan community over in the southeast portion of the valley. Pretty nice area. There is an HOA out here. It is $40 a month. The lots on these homes are gonna be anywhere between zero and $35. Now this one we are taking a look at today is the Patterson and don't worry about that right there. That's the sales office. Those glass walls and doors will be removed when they sell this one. But this one is 2,190 square feet. It's three bed, two bath, three car garage. And this one is going to start at 532,950. Now, if you could do me a huge favor and hit the like button, it really helps out with the channel. Also, make sure to subscribe. But coming on in, we have very nice front entry. Now, there are a lot of options in this home. Just note the average person is to put about 10% into the home. These ones have a lot. They have the higher ceilings. So we have the 10 foot ceilings. They have flooring done throughout. This probably has maybe a little over $100,000 in options. So just note that as we come in. So right off the bat, we have first bedroom. Decent sized room, not the smallest, not the biggest. It does have the additional can lighting, but we have a full size bed. We have the two nightstands. It would be, I guess you could put a dresser right here, but mm, the 10 foot ceilings definitely help make the room feel even bigger. You'll see these little guys right here. There is a smart panel in the washer dryer room that puts the internet out throughout the house. So there is your connection point. But if we spin around, we have our two door closet. Again, if you need more hanging space, you move that bar and shelf up, add a second one, and you've doubled your hanging space. They even did the eight foot doors in here. So just the whole entire house feels a little bit bigger than what it actually is when you get those higher ceilings. Right here, before we head into the bathroom, we have linens. Oh, I guess the coat closet is right behind us. I will get there in just a second, but we have linens right off the bat right here. We have slightly upgraded cabinets. We have upgraded countertops, over-mounted sinks. Leave a comment down below. Do you like the over-mounted sinks or do you like the under-mounted sinks? I feel like, I don't know. I prefer the under-mounted, but that's just me. I think these do look very nice though. If we come on in, we have our toilet and we have our tub shower combo. So this they tiled almost all the way to the ceiling. It's interesting they left just like that one row short, but normally it's gonna be fiberglass composite material. This is tile. We have our shower head, we have our valve, and we have our tub filler. Coming on out, right here, I believe, is our coat closet. So, yep. And it's actually pretty nice size. So we have our coat closet, and then straight on into our second bedroom. Mm, it looks to be about the same size. This one might just be a hair bigger, but we have full size bed. We have two nightstands. We even have the dresser. We have the additional can lighting option, but not a bad size room at all. It is a little bit tight in here, but really not bad at all. We even have our plant and cool mirror. It's very disco ball vibes. And then a huge window right here. but. If you got rid of one of those uh, nightstands, you might be able to get a small desk in here. And then we even have our two door closet slider again, right there. Coming on out, let's go take a look at the main portion of the house. Again, if you have any questions on anything I'm saying, whether it's a new home resale, this model, give me a call again. I'd love to hear from you and love to help you out in any way possible. This is cool. So 
It's very, very open in here. But before we take a look at everything, as far as the great room, right here we have our primary. So king size bed, two nightstands. They did the can lighting in here as well. A lot of windows, so a lot of natural light can come in here. There's a sitting area. We even have the dresser on the other side. I'll spin around so you can see everything. But right there, there's a good amount of room in this bedroom for sure. So little chair, we have our plant, we have our dresser. And then coming on in, we get to our bathroom. So same exact vanities as before, same over mounted sinks. I noticed that more and more of the builders are getting rid of the medicine cabinets. I know I always joke about it, but here we have the mega shower. So normally you can get separate tub, separate shower. Obviously in this one, they wanted to show off a little bit. So they did the shower only. You even have a bench in your toweling off area. This is actually really nice because then you can leave your towel here, you can dry off right here, and you're not tracking the water all the way around. But coming on in, we have our rain shower head, a regular shower head, and then the other nice feature is they put the valves right here so that you don't have to go running into the cold water. Really nice feature to have. We have our toilet, and then they did this closet up really nice. So they had either Cal Closets Las Vegas or California Closet. They had Closets Las Vegas come and do it. And you could even order it through them too as well. So we have our shoe area, double hanging, and shelves all around. Nice size closet, really like what they did. And then we have all the drawers for the valuables and whatnot. But all in all, very nice primary suite. Don't forget, I am doing giveaways still. So once a week, I do a $25 Amazon gift card giveaway. We just picked a winner for last week's giveaway. We are going to have another video coming up later on in the week. Don't forget, in order to win, you have to like that specific video, you have to comment, and you have to be subscribed. So, so if we spin around, the only interesting thing I will say is how they laid this space out. Because you have your walkway, and your TV, Hmm. I do like the fact that the TV's on this wall because then when you're at the sink, you can still see everything. But would you probably put the TV on this wall? I don't know. Leave a comment down below. How would you set up this room? Because I feel like there's a couple different ways you could set this up and be happy with any one of them. So before we check out the kitchen, the dining area, really quickly, let's check out the backyard. Now, when you buy it new, you have to budget for the backyard. So they obviously did the covered patio, but when you purchase new, when you get delivery of the home, there is going to be no backyard, it's just gonna be dirt. And it's up to you to finish it however you so choose. Now an average backyard, it's gonna be about $25,000. You can go more, you can go less. If you add a pool, spa, heater, figure at least 60-ish thousand dollars just for the pool, and then you also have landscaping. It's very easy to get up over a million rather quickly, or excuse me, not a million, $100,000 rather quickly. So. Nice, nice backyard. Again, some of these lots are rather large. I know they have one that is even 11,000 square feet. So you could spend a pretty penny on that. You need to budget for it accordingly. So coming on in, awesome kitchen. So they did the 42 inch uppers. They did the backsplash. They did the pendant lighting. Nice big piece of stone for your uh, island. One, two, three, four, five different bar stools. We have our little espresso nook area. We have our stainless steel fridge, and I do like how much counter space there is in this model. We have our five burner cooktop. We have our stainless steel microwave. You can even do a vent hood if you want, and then it does vent outside. We spin directly around. We have some drawers. We even have our trash in there too, which is really nice. You just pull that out, then you don't have the trash can hiding around the corner. We have our stainless steel undermounted sink. And this is what I was talking about. For one thing, that TV is tiny from over here. That's a big wall. But we have our stainless steel dishwasher. They even added another slider right there. And we will get over to the dining area in just one second, but we have some more storage, more countertop. We even have a double oven in this one. And then we have our dining area which again, they could even put a longer rectangle or a square. This one only has five seats, but you could definitely go quite a big bigger. All in all, let me know what you think about this one down in the comments below. Ooh, really quickly before we miss out, we even have our office. Well, that is normally the garage. Right now it is the sales office, but 
Wow. Big, big pantry. Big pantry. They even have some built-ins right here. And then we have, I'm guessing, linens. Oh, coat closet right here as well. So that's nice. There's two coat closets. This is the box I was telling you about where you could put the modem and the router. And then we have our laundry room. So this is an option. Those are an option. The uppers are options. The lowers are options. You can do it with the sink, without. So a bunch of different ways you can do it. But just note that those are additional costs. All in all, let me know what you think about this one down in the comments below. Pretty nice house. Again, don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Don't forget, I also am doing those once a week gift card giveaways. So stay tuned for the next gift card. It will be coming out here in a couple days. And as always, thanks for tagging along with Tour Time with Tyler. Stay safe out there, everyone. 